This episode of Hydro Show is sponsored by Hydro Mag, the UK's independent hydroponics magazine. Now, here we normally have the quick tips section of the show. However, today's subject is a little harder to explain. The subject is adding carbon dioxide to your grow room. And while we were down at South Coast Hydroponics in Portsmouth, we were introduced to two very different ways of producing grow room CO2. Okay, well now I'm joined by Roger from Growing Innovations. Uh, Roger has brought a CO2 generator for us to talk about. Hi Roger, how are you? Hi Nick, I'm well, cheers. So how does a CO2 generator work? Um, well basically a gas CO2 generator burns propane gas um, to produce CO2, um, which is good because um, we all know that's what our plants need. Um, but the main problem with a CO2 generator usually would be the fact that an immense amount of heat is produced in that process. So how is it that you've managed to create a product that creates less heat than other conventional CO2 generators? Um, so basically, this, I mean, this CO2 gener generator here has a, a heat exchanger inside it. And um, you know, you, you've got a reservoir here with a pump. Water is circulated around the unit. Um, and all the heat that's produced inside is literally absorbed straight into the water and taken away. So all the CO2 gas that comes out is relatively cool, not affecting the growing environment. So how can we control the levels of, of CO2? Well Nick, the um, CO2 generator would be connected to a CO2 controller, which has a sensor, um, which would be continuously measuring the um, levels of CO2 in the environment. Um, when the levels would drop um, below your set parameter, um, the cool gem would kick in um, and it would produce CO2 um, until you get to the higher set parameter. Um, because of the cooling feature on the cool gen, we've been able to cram a very powerful 16 kilowatt flame in there. Um, so, these, so these levels um, can be reached very quickly. So the unit is coming on for very short periods of time and then, then off again, okay? Is there any danger of the pilot light being blown out? No, there's no pilot light on the cool gen, no standing pilot at all. It's got a state-of-the-art electronic ignition inside. Um, so as soon as, soon as the controller says CO2 is needed, the cool gen will ignite okay. and you're away. Okay, so we have spoken a little bit about it. Um, now can you show us how it works? Yes, yeah, sure, Nick. Um, well, this is, a, this is actually a display model here. So essentially this switch here um, effectively would be like pressing this is like the CO2 controller activating the cool gen. So you know if we press this now, um, you can see the you can see the flame inside. Cool gen's going. You know you can put your hand over there. 16 kilowatt, no heat. So basically what's happening is we've got a pump in here. Uh, this is a, a reservoir full of water. Okay. So as soon as the uh, CO2 controller wants more CO2, it turns the pump on. Water is pumped around the cool gen and back out. And as soon as that water reaches the right pressure inside, the cool gem will ignite, okay, and you're away. Um, as soon as the controller's happy, it's re the, the environment's reached the desired levels, it will turn the pump off and flame out. So how much CO2 can this actually create? Well, the cool gen um, is capable of producing sort of around three and a half kilos of CO2 an hour. Right. It's quite immense. It's um, a lot. It's a lot of CO2. Um, uh, what si sort of size room would you use this to operate? Because of because of the cooling feature and, and the speed it produces the CO2, you know, it's possible to use it in an environment as small as two square metres. Um, setting it on the, the high level, 16 kilowatt, it's, um, you know, it's possible to operate in a room up to around 30 square metres. Um, and can you explain a little bit about the, the controls on the front here? Yes, Nick. Well, basically, these con all the controls on the front are really, are really there um, for the different size environments you're going to use it in. It gives you full adjustability of the flame, the water flow, um, you've got min and max water flow, um, so you can have maximum cooling, or if you want to slow the water flow down a bit, um, you can let a bit of heat out into the room if, if need be. Um, so essentially, if you were in a two square metre room, you'd stick it on the eight kilowatt setting, and you'd have the flame down nice and low, okay? Um, and obviously in a larger room, you'd have it running full chat. Okay. So can you just quickly summarise the main benefits of the cool gen? Yeah, sure Nick. As I said earlier, it produces an, an abundance of CO2 um, with minimal effect on the temperature of your growing environment. Um, and it runs on propane gas, which is highly accessible from your, your garden centre, your local garage, hardware store. So yeah, but, you know, so basically if you're, a, you know, if you're a serious grower, you're looking for constant high levels of CO2, um, the cool gen is the way to go. Fantastic. Well, thank you very much for your time today. No problem. Thank you. Cheers. 
Earlier on in the show, Roger from Growing Innovation showed us his CO2 generator. Now Matt from South Coast is going to show us how a more natural solution can work in a tent. Thank you. These are the new CO2 bags that are on the market. They've just come out. Um, literally the beauty of these is you're not having no tanks, no gas bottles, no pumps, no wire and no nothing. They're perfectly natural. All you do, very similar to what we've done here, you just hang it up in the tent. Um, they're activated by the actual light and the heat, which swells the bag up lets out a steady stream of CO2 through the breather hole and it will do about four plants and a bag like that will last you about three months. Three months? About three months, yeah, so th th they are absolutely excellent. I wouldn't use them for big rooms, I'd stick with what we, we, we looked at earlier which is the proper CO2, um, but for grow tents these are absolutely fantastic. And once you finish it, presumably you can just buy another one and... Yep, just buy another one, hang it up in the room exactly like this, so if you're using one square metre tent one bag's efficient. If you're going to use bigger than that, then you can stick two or three bags in. Fantastic, thank you. You're welcome, thank you. Give me a cuddle. Hello, I'm Brad. And I'm Matt. Welcome to South Coast Hydroponics. This episode of Hydro Show is sponsored by Hydromag, the UK's independent hydroponics magazine.